Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Najwa Husseini with Azadi News. The role of the international community on the Rohingya genocide and the ICJ. Day long battle rages near Tharafi village of Buthi Dong. When it comes to Burma and the plight of its Rohingya people in particular, the international community has consistently failed to adequately respond when faced with serious risks or even the actual commission of mass atrocities. The words prevention and never again ring hollow when the world's most powerful, including the United Nations Security Council, did little as a genocide against the Rohingya was unfolding in Burma's Arkan state. Most governments simply fail to act when action to prevent escalation and respond to atrocities was most needed. The only formal response of the Security Council to the genocide against the Rohingya was the adoption of a November 2017 presidential statement, three months after the start of the Burmese military's abusive clearance operations. Individual governments, meanwhile, were slow to impose sanctions and withdraw support for Burmese military if they did so at all. State parties to the Genocide Convention were also silent even after the UN Human Rights Council mandated independent international fact-finding mission issued a 2018 report finding reasonable grounds to conclude that Burmese military had committed acts of genocide against the Rohingya along with other atrocity crimes. While many countries privately recognized that the path to state responsibility for the Rohingya genocide was a lawsuit away, the lack of political courage and the prospect of upsetting an important trading partner, China meant that no nation dared to initiate legal action of the International Court of Justice ICJ for more than two years since 2017's escalation of state violence against the Rohingya. Ultimately, it was the smallest country in mainland Africa, Gambia, that filed a case at the ICJ in November 2019. Gambia accused Burma of violating the Genocide Convention and requested the court to issue provisional measures in order to protect a against further irreparable harm to the rights of the Rohingya group in its application. Two months later, the ICJ ordered Myanmar to prevent genocidal acts generally, to specifically ensure military and police forces do not commit genocidal acts, to preserve all evidence of genocidal acts and to report back to the court on compliance with these measures. Fighting broke out between the Burmese Army and the Arkan Army AA near Tharafi village in Buthi Dong at around 9 a.m. on Monday and continued late into the evening. An elder from Tharafi village said they were fighting in the valley near the village. From 9 a.m. I could hear them shooting. It went on until this evening. We could hear the sound of heavy artillery fire, he said, at 6 p.m. yesterday. There are about 100 houses in Tharafi village with a population made up of Rakhine, Khami, and Mero ethnic groups. Light Infantry Battalion 552 was not far away to the west of the village, he said. Currently, villagers are still in the village, but everyone had gathered together in the monastery. Fighting between the Burmese Army and the Arkan Army AA has been taking place in Arkan State since November 2018, with current conflict occurring in 10 townships. Over 200 civilians have been killed and nearly 600 wounded due to the fighting. The number of IDPS has risen to nearly 200,000 according to figures released by the Rakhine Ethnic Congress. This is today's news. To get more updates about Rohingya, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Visit our website azadinews.org and follow our social media accounts. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.